welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new here my name is sj and i am an adult dog collector who just wants to talk about dolls and i went to walmart and i got three new dolls a rapunzel doll by mattel and she comes with pascal um i'm rebodying her it's the only reason why i got her i have a headless made to move barbie that needs a head we got monique and we got costume ball Bella because I didn't have her. Um, I really don't have any of them, but today we're going to be looking at Monique because she's beautiful and I'm so happy to have her. So this is Shadow High Series 2 Monique. Um, now, Walmart had her for $32. She is $24.99 at Target and on Amazon. The only reason I decided to get her at Walmart is because my Target has been getting in some really shitty ones. And her white eyeliner is just smudged everywhere. And because of that issue, I was too afraid to order her from Amazon and risk getting a bad one. So I went ahead and purchased her for $32 at Walmart. I don't know what Walmart is doing with their pricing, why she is so much more expensive, but it's it's a little ridiculous. Um, and then people are like, well, you could price match. Okay, well, maybe your Walmart price matches, but my Walmart is like, no, we do not price match. Don't use the app scanner because those are online prices and we don't price match with our online prices. If you want it for the cheaper price, you might as well just buy it online. And my Walmart doesn't do in-store pickup either. They had it and then they got rid of it. Like, what are you doing, Walmart? Anyways, here is Monique. She is absolutely beautiful. Um, at first, I wasn't sure if I would like this whole, like, purple color. But I love it. She is stunning. The back of the box is her and Carla, and it says fashion doesn't have to follow the rules and neither does Shadow High. Watch out Rainbow High, we're coming for the runway. And her focus is fashion design. And the barcode, if you are looking for her or want another one of her, is right here. Um, this, scan for a free toy. I scanned that with one of the LOL OMG dolls. That was weeks ago. And it takes you to the MGA website. You fill out this thing on how old your kid is, what toys that you buy that MGA makes, when um, your kid's birthday is, and then they say they'll email you. And I have yet to hear back. So what's going on with that? But let's go ahead and take her out of the box. All right. Monique is out of the box. But before we take a look at her, we're going to take a look at what she came with. She came with your standard Rainbow High Shadow High comb in a dark purple color with glitter throughout. Little purple makeup palette and you can open it and there's like little makeup in a mirror. Makeup brushes little thing of lipstick and it does open and she came with a phone and a phone case I already put the phone case on um but it looks like team anti-sparkle is calling who is team anti-sparkle i gotta know who is team anti-sparkle listen i'm impatiently waiting for the new webisodes to drop because I gotta know what the heck is going on. And she also came with uh, purple shadow high hangers. I'm not entirely sure why these girls are coming with hangers when we don't have a second outfit, but it probably has something to do with the fact that we complained so much that the other dolls did not come with hangers that MGA was like, go ahead and include the hangers, but we're not giving them a second outfit. Who knows? She also came with your standard Rainbow High Shadow High stand in a dark purple color. 
Um, these stands seem to be a lot more sturdy than the Shadow High Series 1. At least that's what I'm noticing. Maybe I'm just getting good luck with the stands. I don't know. But my Shadow High Series 1 stands, they just fall over for like no reason. Let's go ahead and take a look at her and all of her beauty because that is what we're here for. We don't care about the stand. We're here for her. Um, her hair. I'm loving the hair. I just want to sit and do this all day. I, it's I, I'm I'm weird I guess but we're all a little weird so whatever but and it's not just all one color either they mixed a bunch of colors in here you've got dark purple light purple light blue dark blue black it is beautiful in her makeup they went ahead and tried these out there makeup designs for these dolls for series two and it is working like I'm loving this makeup it's beautiful she has a dark purple lip and her earrings are silver hoops with a flower on them and it is a certain flower and I believe it is a purple flower I cannot pronounce the name of the flower and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I don't want to mess it up and, and sound weird even though I just said I'm weird, but whatever. She has a silver necklace on. It is plastic and it is two dragons with a purple gemstone in the middle. Her dress is just gorgeous. It is like, it's reminding me of like just a bunch of different flower petals, like a little fairy dress hmm. and a bunch of like little purple and white. And this is, the white is almost kind of like a purple ombre. Like it fades from purple into white and it is a dress. It is all one piece. Her belt, it is a silver plastic studded belt with a purple gemstone in the middle and it, it can come off. It is just kind of like a clip right there. Her gloves. I'm loving these fingerless gloves. Like you would think it would not work with this outfit. Like this outfit looks all fancy and everything. But then you add the gloves and it just adds a whole nother element to the outfit. But they are a dark purple fingerless glove with um, shadow high and black on there. And it's like a raised print. She does have long dark purple nails. And her shoes are just like her necklace. It is two dragons right here by the toe area with a purple gemstone in the middle. She is beautiful. As far as articulation goes, she has all of the same articulation that all of the other Rainbow High, Shadow High dolls have. Head or neck articulation, wrist articulation, elbow articulation, leg articulation. She does not have chest articulation or anything like that. It's just like the basic articulation that all of the other dolls come with. Overall, I am so glad to have her in my Shadow High collection because she is an absolutely stunning doll. And there was all this talk and speculation that Shadow High was not going to continue. And it was kind of making me a little sad because Shadow High is what got me into collecting dolls again. Um, Heather Grayson was actually the first doll that I purchased. She is my pride and joy. I love her so much because she was my first doll that I purchased. And in doing so, it led me down the rabbit hole of Rainbow High and then meeting every single doll. There's still a couple out there that I don't have, but one day, one day they will be mine. But she is completely worth the price. Um, yes, MGA lowered the price, $24.26.99. We are not getting a second outfit, but that does not mean that they skimped on the detail and the quality of these dolls because it is still absolutely amazing it is still the quality and detail that we love um like i said she is 32 some dollars at walmart i have no idea what walmart is doing with that pricing and how it's allowed but whatever and i would not have paid that much knowing that these dolls are you know 24 26 dollars but like i said everyone that i was coming across the white eyeliner was just smudged all over their face so I went ahead and I purchased her from Walmart 
but she is absolutely stunning. She is beautiful and I cannot wait to put her on the shelf with all my other Shadow High girls. And I hope you enjoyed this video of me reviewing Monique and I hope to see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.